Today, I decided to teach my fourth grader how to use study and learn mode on ChatGPT. It is available under tools on the chat box on ChatGPT. It's actually pretty simple. We just uploaded a file and asked ChatGPT to generate an interactive quiz. I was curious, how would she react? Would it be fun, boring, or confusing? And more importantly, does it actually work in real life? Hi friends, welcome back to AI Basics, where we make AI fun, relevant, and simple. Today, we're diving into ChatGPT study mode, a revolutionary tool that might just be the best tutor your child ever had. And as always, we start with the conclusion first. So what happened when we tried study mode? First and foremost, it was easy to use. She loved it. It was her material that she was learning at school, so she was confident. In just one sitting, she did three quizzes. And honestly, she wanted to keep going, but it was time for her to leave for school. The best part is she could level up or down, choose quiz types, fill in the blank, true or false, match the part, and go at her own pace. And me? I was absolutely blown away, not just by how engaged she was, but how clearly I could see what she already knew and what she needed help with. It just didn't test her. It taught both of us. So let's be honest. School is the best place for kids to be, I feel. They love being with their friends and absorbing all that new information. They're engaged, they learn to communicate, they learn to collaborate, and they work on real life projects. But there are many topics. They sound simple, but confuse even adults. Teachers, they try their best, but 30 students, limited time, it's tough to engage with each and every child and give them that one-on-one -on -one attention to see if they have actually learned the material. Hence comes in quizzes, which are a bit daunting for the little ones, just a pen with a score on top. Little or no feedback, but it does motivate them. And if there are no quizzes, then it's even more difficult to judge whether they have learned and retained the material. So today I decided to test ChatGPT's new study and learn mode. Instead of handing her a worksheet or me asking her questions, I uploaded her chapter from the science book and then asked ChatGPT to create a quiz for her, one question at a time. Then I stepped back, she took over, and I just watched, curious to see what she would do. Each question came in interactive mode. She had to answer first. If she got it right, yay, great, check box. If she got it wrong, it told her the correct answer and explained why in simple words. It gave her also a multimodal quiz. Some questions were fill in the blank, some were true and false, some were match the part. And then it even asked her after each quiz whether she wanted to go higher up in difficulty with tougher questions. And what I loved, it gently nudged her to take the next quiz. And she kept going on. She loved it. She kept wanting more and more quizzes. What makes this revolutionary? Study mode isn't just a new feature. It's a whole new way of learning. And I must say, please, please do try it. Here's why it matters, especially for parents. Number one, there is no fear of failure. If you make a mistake, ChatGPT immediately explains the right answer to you. Add number two is pace control. Fast learners can speed up, and if you have a doubt, you don't understand a question, you can ask it either to repeat or to explain it to you. Number three, multiple formats are available so that you can go into deeper learning. You can, it is not about now memorizing every concept, it's about understanding these concepts and applying them. Number four, instant feedback equals instant growth. You learn it today, you understand it today, and you fix it today. That's very, very powerful. If you are not using study mode, you're seriously missing out. It's so, so easy. Upload a file, ask ChatGPT to create a quiz. Teach your child to do it for themselves and then watch the magic unfold. At one point, my daughter literally said, this is so much fun. And I thought, wow, that's not something you usually hear after a science quiz. Later, you can scroll through the chat and actually see how they answered. 
What did they get stuck on and where they improved? And if you're not sure how to help, again, ask ChatGPT. How can I support my child based on this quiz? It's mom approved, it's kid approved, and it's changing how we teach and learn. And parents, just to be clear, I am not affiliated in any way with ChatGPT. And folks, that's all for today. I do hope you tried. And please write in the comments if you do and how did your kids react.